which is a luminous spirit who lives faithfully and graciously and generously. And I know we will all grow from being in her presence this evening. And her art is about um, spiritual sustainability, emotional sustainability. She will be speaking with us about chaos, change, be open, stay curious, um, talking about spiritual qualities that help us to engage in the face of chaos. I wonder, and I can tell you from my experience, a radical practice of welcoming everything that comes is amazing. Again, I don't mean it's all easy, but if everything, if my flight's delayed, I'm going to miss something next. If I practice the quality of deeper welcome, okay, I wonder what's coming. Way better than being pissed off. Way better. <laughs> I'm looking for something that might be a gift in the next moment, and then I might actually see it. Today I gained a lot because she talked a lot about the inner person and connecting it to the spirituality. What moves you from pain? Oh. Maybe not in that particular line, you know, it might be in a different order and a different way for you, but what's changing you? That just made me sort of just think about a lot of aspects of my life, what I want to improve on, and that it's okay if something's not okay right now, it'll get better. What about the way our world is becoming this crazy network of interconnectedness. Now with Facebook, you can know stuff from everywhere, right? We know about Japan, we know, we forget about the other places like Pakistan, and I mean, stuff is going on all the time that we don't hear, but a lot of it we do hear. And what if that same fluidity is also a call to move our hearts when our bodies say the same? I think Melanie's artwork helps a lot in thinking about things that you've never thought about because she like it's very creative and it makes you become imaginative and her work like makes you think about just simple things like birds in a different way like the earth in a different way and it's very interesting to look at life and everything around us in a different perspective Whatever is you're thinking or is going on in you, put it on here in whatever way you want. Doodle, words, doesn't matter. But you might consider a note to yourself to remember how you want to be living. What qualities you might want to practice. Or you might experiment with the three you pulled out of the bowl and make a sentence that uses them all. Or I don't know, I don't want to tell you what to do because this is your creative time. One of my little three things was aliveness. And so I wrote on it, be alive. And that felt kind of made complete that I was like, be alive, breathe. And then on the inside, I wrote, be alive, breathe in and breathe out the breath of God, which is the spirit which gives us life. And then I, as soon as I wrote that, I picked out the quote and said, the breathing life of all is itself in the way you live your life. <laughs> so that breathing in and breathing out in the center will grow out. This is kind of weird because when I saw your, your seed drawings, um, they reminded me of like whenever I would try to like sit down and like draw something, I only drew circles and that kind of looked like this. But every time um, I would draw them, like the first time I drew one, it was like only with like it was like with like black and ink or something. And then and then the color started like changing and becoming lighter and lighter. And now it's like this. And I'm kind of embarrassed because I can't like draw anything else, um, and I feel like it's kind of funny. But um, but yeah, thanks for like having us do that. It's hard to explain exactly what um, her lesson was, um, just because I feel like it wasn't very specific. I feel like it was very specific to each person individually, um, and for me that was um, work on the things that you know that you need to work on and love the things that you are doing. 
though Melanie what came with a Quaker background and everything her message was not for Quakers or anything it was about everything it was about our like our lives the problems all of us go through whether Christian non-Christian or anything we go through and the artwork like anyone can draw and so it was like it was a combination of everything her background was just one of the things that she came with but her message was for everyone and it will have affected everyone and benefited anyone who came there. You are an aspect of the divine. You are part of the beloved. You are a part of who I am and who the planet is. Like, this is true. I believe that this is true. And if you aren't you, 